Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. First, let me start off. Well, I'll say what day it is. Wednesday, December the 2nd, and it's 8.46 p.m. I had to remove that video, that lovely message from the Lord. And I want to say I believed it was from the Lord. How many of you? I did not read your comments. I just deleted it. Why? Because I found out when I was on the Grafted In Team Jesus team this evening. I heard about it on their channel. Somebody on the team spoke up tonight and said they had looked at, into that person. And said that they wanted $1,200 or something like that to make them an apostle. <laughs> and we were like that's not good <laughs> we don't want money to make somebody an apostle so Kathy on um, Kathy and Dan started this you know they have the channel and ha they vote people in to be on the team well anyway she said oh I'm taking that down I said I am too I'll be right back so I left the meeting for a minute and came on to my channel and just deleted it because I just don't want to send people to somebody and it, the name was um oh gosh lord help me Mike um triple grace that that's what it was uh, something triple grace a man's name mike mark i'm pretty sure it was mike but anyway triple grace was the name of the channel so i didn't i didn't want you all following anyone doing that okay so moving on now this is a couple videos that tessa sent me and uh this first one is pretty gross um it's not a food recall However, you may not want to buy it. I'm not sure how you feel. The publication is The Guardian, and I believe they're trustworthy. The title, get this, No Kill Lab-Grown Meat to Go on Sale for the First Time. Remember the one I did about how they had the kits to grow your own meat from your own cells. That was about a week ago or so. The picture on the video shows petri dishes. So it's in several stages of the meat growing into a, a little steak. Yeah, they were calling them steaks. Alright, and these look like chicken nuggets. But they're... Signet, Sig, Singapore's approval of chicken cells grown in bioreactors is seen as landmark moment across industry. Now, I'm going to tell you, if it is animals that are meant for us to be eaten, and the only way to get enough food for everybody... If there was time for worrying about that, why not? I'd like to know your opinion about it. But let me read part of the article. I'll see how long it is. It's pretty long here. so But I'll read part of it and then give you the link to it. All right. Under the picture of what looks like some pretty delicious chicken nuggets, it says... Eat just chicken bites will be initially available in a Singapore restaurant and photograph by Hampton Creek. Eat just. Eat just. That's the name of people that go around and take pictures of food, maybe? Anyway, here's what it says. Cultured meat produced in bioreactors. Now, I wonder if that's under radiation. Without the slaughter of an animal, 
has been approved for sale by a regulatory authority for the first time. Now that makes me wonder, well, the food has been is available for sale. The other thing were kits where you could clone your own meat. That's that's very disgusting. This I'm not sure of. Let's continue. The development has been hailed as a, ha a landmark moment across the meat industry. The chicken bites produced by the U.S. company Eat Just. That's the name of a U.S. company. Have passed a safety review by the Singapore Food Agency. Wait a minute. The chicken bites produced by the U.S. company Eat Just. It's a U.S. company. What are they doing this over in Singapore? Evidently. Must not have been able to get a license to do that over here in the United States. I wonder. Okay, so Eat Just have just passed a safety review by the Singapore Food Agency and the approval could open the door to, future, to a future when all meat is produced without the killing of livestock, the company said. So what's going to happen to all the livestock that's going to reproduce and grow up and now they're no longer going to slaughter it? Or maybe that real meat is going to cost a bundle. Let me move on. Dozens of firms are developing cultivated chicken, beef, and pork with a view to slashing the impact of industrial livestock production on the climate and nat nature crisis on the climate. Right, yeah, they're passing gas is is part of the climate change. Ridiculous. That and they're probably the feces. Lots of that, but it makes good fertilizer. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. Alright, so the impact of industrial livestock production on the climate and nature crises as well as providing cleaner drug-free and cruelty-free meat. Currently, about 130 million chickens are slaughtered every day for meat. Around the world or in the U.S. or in Singapore, where Maybe around the world. 130 million chickens are slaughtered every day for meat. And 4 million pigs. By weight, 60% of the mammals on earth are livestock. 36% are humans. And only 4% 4, 4 are wild. Wow. That surprises me. So why is meat so high? The sales for Eat Just's product are grown in a 1,200 liter bioreactor and then combined with plant-based ingredients. Initial availability would be limited, the company said, and the bites would be sold in a restaurant in Singapore. The product would be significantly more expensive than conventional chicken, 
until production was scaled up. But Eat Just said it would ultimately be cheaper. The sales used to start the process came from a cell bank and did not require the slaughter of a chicken because sales can be taken from biopsies of live animals. The nutrients supplied to the growing cells were all from plants. The growth medium for the Singapore production line includes, okay, I don't know this word, F-O-E-T-A-L, photol, foetal, fo fetal, it looks like fetal with an O, so may maybe it's a uh, mistake, a typo. Fetal bovine serum. Now that makes sense. The growth medium for the Singapore production line includes fetal bovine serum, which is extracted from fetal blood. They may spell it differently over there. That could be because it's spelled the same here, unless F-O-E-T-A-L is not fetal. It's extracted from fetal blood, but this is largely removed before consumption. Fetal bovine. Bovine is cow, right? put into chickens. A plant-based serum would be used in the next production line, the company said, but was not available when the Singapore approval process began two years ago. A series of scientific studies have shown that people in rich nations eat more meat than is healthy for them or the planet. Reachers Research shows cutting meat consumption is vital in tackling the climate crisis. And some scientists say this is the best single environmental action a person can take. Does that sound like another big fat lie to y'all? The biggest cutting meat consumption is vital to in tackling the climate crisis and some, I say the biggest thing we could do to cut the climate crisis is to make chemtrails illegal. Other than that, carpooling. And we should have cleaner running buses and, ha and run them for free on the taxpayer's dollar instead of using it for things that aren't as necessary. You want people to cut down on car usage? That would help the environment. And so would cutting out chemtrails. Make them illegal. There you go. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. All right. I'll leave the, uh, what do you call that thing up there? The the link. So you can read the rest of it yourself if you want to. All right. Here's a recall now. FDA, listen to this. You may have bought one of these. FDA recalls baby spinach, very popular these days, organic basil, and cut vegetables in several states. Now, now we talked about this the other day on one of the recalls I did. 
if it is not something like hamburger where it's all ground up and mushed together, wash it off real good and pray over it. You know, that's probably why Jesus told us to pray over all of our food and drink. He's talking about your tap water too. Remember the day we're living in. People dump their medications down the toilet. It ends up in the water processing plants. And if enough people do it, you're going to end up with little bits of medicines in your water that the filter system cannot take out. So, pray over all your food and all your whatever you eat. This is particularly talking about FDA recalling baby spinach, organic basil, and cut vegetables in several states. If you want to know about it, the three recalls were all announced during Thanksgiving week and affect products sold by multiple chains across the United States and Canada. Certain fresh attitude, fresh attitude, spinach products from VegPro International have been recalled due to concerns that the product has been contaminated with salmonella. It's a really popular bug going around these days. All right, by Carrie Breen. Check your kitchen. The Food and Drug Administration has announced three recalls affecting baby spinach, fresh organic basil, and cut vegetables sold by a variety of retailers across the country. The baby spinach recall affecting 5 ounce and 11 ounce fresh attitude spinach products from Veg Pro International was issued due to concerns that the product had been contaminated with salmonella. The products were distributed in the northeastern United States and eastern Canada, produced in the brand's Canadian facility. Other products from Veg Pro International are produced in Florida and are not linked to this recall. No illnesses have been reported at this time. But, consume, but any consumers in the affected area who have fresh attitude spinach with best before dates of December 4th for the 11 ounce products or December 4th and 5th for the 5 ounce products should return those products to the place of purchase immediately for a full refund. Why can't they just tell people to wash their spinach? You know why? Because we're spoiled and lazy. No, that's true. Most people are. Or they're busy. Or they're just used to it. They've been busy. Maybe now not so much. Some people, so many people are out of work because of this supposed virus going around. Well, we're used to buying pre-washed, ready-to-eat salad products, are we not? So now, instead of telling you to wash your lettuce, your fresh attitude spinach, they're telling you to return it for a refund. You do what you want to do, but I would wash it and pray over it if it were mine. It says salmonella can cause serious and sometimes fatal infections and symptoms such as fever, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain, according to the FDA. Oh, my, they've got a picture of the crock pot that I uh, 
talked about last week. The multi-cookers recalled over burn hazard. It looks... It's round and tall, and anyway, I already talked about that. All right, now, the voluntary limited recall of fresh organic basil has been issued, quote, out of an abundance of caution, unquote, by Shenandoah Growers, Incorporated, due to concerns that the product was contaminated by cyclospora, a parasite which can cause an intestinal infection. Again, organic basil. Cyclospora, a parasite. Sounds like something you could wash off, but if you're not sure, go take it back to the store for an exchange of another batch. According to the FDA, the recall only affects clamshells of certified organic basil marked with an affected lot code. The full list of lot codes can be found on the FDA's website. The recalled products were distributed to retail stores on the East Coast between October 20th and October 30th. I'll repeat that. The recalled products were distributed to retail stores on the East Coast between October 20th and October 30th. Since the products were harvested and packed nearly a month ago, the FDA says the basil should no longer be in commerce, but retailers should immediately discard any recalled product. Consumers should discard any recalled product and contact the Shenandoah Growers Consumer Response Center for a refund. I don't see a phone number, but let's see. The company said in the FDA release that they take food safety measures very seriously and are working in close coordination with regulatory officials on the recall. Okay, so that there's no phone number listed. Just uh, Google it, I suppose. Dole recalls some organic romaine lettuce hearts due to E. coli risk. Okay, I think we went over that last time. The voluntary cut vegetable recall affects two types of high V, that's spelled capital H, small y, dash, capital V, Small EE, -E, high V, short cuts, vegetable mix products sold by High V Incorporated in eight states. If consumers have purchased High V short cuts, pot roast mix, or High V short cuts, Grill oven ready veggie mix, both with a best if used by date through December 3rd. Those products should be discarded or returned to their nearest high V store for a full refund, according to the FDA. The vegetables are being recalled after a routine safety sampling at the production facility for the vegetables found potential for contamination with listeria monocytogenes, an organism that can cause serious infections and symptoms like high fevers, severe headaches, 
stiffness, nausea, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. Pregnant women should be especially cautious since infection by the organism can cause miscarriage or stillbirth, according to the FDA. That makes it serious. That's the cut-up vegetables, short-cut pot roast mix, or high V short-cuts grill-slash-oven-ready veggie mix. Okay, I'll put the link in the description box. That's enough about all that. Y'all have a blessed night or blessed day whenever you happen to see this. Okay, bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.